I'm Dr. Rajesh Deshmukh and uh, I'm consultant in Department of Cardiothoracic and Vascular Surgery in Kamalini Hospitals in LB Nagar. Today, we'll share some information about minimal invasive cardiac surgery involving coronary artery bypass grafting. Who needs coronary artery bypass operations? Who come with coronary artery bypass have blocks in the vessels which supply blood to the heart muscle. So we know that heart is a great organ and requires extensive amount of blood for the amount of physical work it does. So whenever there are blocks, there is a thick plaque which is built up in the vessels supplying the heart and which leads to decrease in the supply of oxygen rich blood. So which leads to certain symptoms in the patients like it can be pain or it can be breathlessness or it can be sometimes patient collapsed because of uh, change in the heart rhythm because of the lack of blood supply or it can lead to heart attack and its own consequences. So what is minimal invasive cardiac surgery and uh, can coronary artery bypass surgery can be done through this procedure? Yes, minimal invasive cardiac surgery being uh, traditionally we used to open in the midline chest where the breast bone is split and then along with that we harvest a vessel which is just next to the breast bone and then used for bypassing the blocked vessels in the heart. With a new advent of technology and uh, with a change in the instruments which are being devised currently, so we are able to make an uh, incision through the small cut in the left side of the chest and uh, where we do not cut the bone but however we cut in between the ribs which is the muscles are split and then we are able to approach the heart and then harvest the vessel which is next to the sternal bone and then along with that few conduits either from the hand or the leg and then we are able to graft it. So this procedure is quite feasible with current instruments and expertise available in the minimal invasive cardiac surgery. Who is eligible for uh, MICS CABG? So a patients, most cur currently most of the patients uh, can be subjected to minimal invasive cardiac surgery involving coronary artery bypass grafting and but however certain group of patients where a patient requires a, a additional procedure that is a bypass surgery along with a valve replacement or if the lifestyle problems where the patient is very obese and uh, uh, along with that if there are any other medical conditions being any issues related to the lungs where we are not able to manage the ventilation during the operation so these patients certain group of patients are not eligible for patients but however most of the patients were able to do uh, minimal invasive with coronary artery bypass grafting either with or without the pump support during the surgery. So what are the advantages of minimal invasive cardiac surgery involving bypass grafting? Patients who are subjected to minimal invasive cardiac surgery have a smaller scar and uh, less trauma and pain post-operative and a less blood loss and less chances of infection because we are not cutting the sternal bone and uh, most of the patients are diabetic so this prevents the infection chances post-operative and patients are up and uh, early mobilized after this operation. They're able to cough out and uh, so the post-operative infections or the chest infections are very, very less. And uh, these are the great advantage, advantages for the patients uh, for the, uh, when they are subjected to minimal invasive cardiac surgery compared to the midline sternotomy where for approach for the surgeon is easier but it has its own consequences of uh, wounds getting infected or wounds getting dehisced and also post-operative pain and discomfort for extended up to six weeks when done in traditional sternotomy. How long does a surgery last and how long does a pain last? The surgery usually lasts around three to four hours of total duration and uh, along with that the pain usually lasts for around four to five days and slowly it disappears by 10 days and uh, compared to the traditional sternotomy where patient experience pain up to three to four weeks and discomfort up to six weeks and if there are no uh, infections in the sternotomy wound. However, in minimal invasive cardiac surgery, the wound, the scar is negligible and uh, in particular in females, it's under the breast where it is concealed 
and patients have a great self confidence and the amount of pain is very very negligible after 2 weeks after the surgery so what is the hospital stay duration and the recovery period after the surgery so usually the hospital duration is uh, for 5 days so patients are usually discharged after fourth day after the surgery and or maximum by fifth day if unless there are no complications with the surgery associated and uh, they are mobilized ambulated and rehabilitated within 2 weeks after the operation and by 2 weeks patients are back to their normal routine activity including the work and also family life why must one choose kamineni for minimal invasive cardiac surgery involving coronary artery bypass grafting so we have a great team and also expertise and uh, all the infrastructure which is required to do the minimal invasive cardiac surgery we have a great testimonials for our from our own patients appreciating the work and also the happiness is what among the patients is what drives us to keep going in our daily routine thank you